Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I'm loving this new teacup. It has this little heart-shaped handle. It definitely goes with my brand. So anyways, please don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. We just got a big shipment in of different types of teas. We got more mesh tea balls. So you guys, make sure you guys go on there to check it out. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so this is part two. So I want to come out here and spill some more tea concerning this whole Nicki Minaj, Cardi B situation. Now they done drug offset into this, okay? So if you guys don't know what happened is this. Diddy has a new show out, you know, everybody's trying to be in competition with us commentators on YouTube. Now you see all these celebrities trying to have their own little YouTube channels doing commentary. But like I told y'all on my Nicki Minaj live stream, you got to decide. Do you want to be a celebrity or do you want to be a media person? Because you can't do both, okay? Because the shit just ends up being biased and it's very apparent. So anyhow, Diddy took to his Instagram page and he was basically asking folks if they agree with what Remy Ma had to say about Nicki Minaj. And so I had reposted this, a lot of the blogs reposted this, and um, people were dragging Remy, a lot of people agree with Remy as well. I kind of felt like Remy was making excuses for Cardi B, but that's just my personal opinion. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Tweeting crazy, stop doing all this fucking If you can't Instagram fucking back bending. it up. Not even if you can't back it up, because as it's soon period. as niggas are talking <laughs> all this real even if you shit, back it up. and as soon as some real shit happen not an altercation where somebody gets hit in the head by security and ends up with a speed out when some real shit really happened when somebody in the hospital somebody's cut somebody stabbed somebody shot somebody stomped out everyone's like oh my god stop the violence please we can't do this but when just talking all that red shit and all this gangster shit and all this gang shit and everything else everybody thinks it's cool and they quoting it and using it as lines I to their songs this. but as soon as something happened why would cardi do that oh my god and i can't believe and they these guys my like I, nah stop. My, i don't have a problem with people defend all right so you guys just heard what remy ma had to say so like i said there's clearly a bias there because she did cheat there. Her and Nicki Minaj don't get along. So what do you expect her to say? Again, when you're a celebrity and you're in the industry, I don't expect to hear unbiased news. You cannot be involved in the fuckery and then not be biased. So clearly she's siding with Cardi B. But that's neither here nor there. Did he ask the question? Offset jumped in there and he was like, yes, sir. You know what I mean? He basically agreed with what Remy Ma was trying to say, okay? So then if that's not crazy enough, um, one of Nicki Minaj's former group members, she used to be in a group called the Hood Stars. So when he seen Offset write that, he kind of got in his feelings. So then he took to his social media page and the Barb's took a screenshot and they sent me this. Go ahead and check this out. So Nicki Minaj, former Hood Star friend, his name is Make Seven Yours. And basically he says, at Nicki Minaj, I need to hold that chain again. Got a lit interview coming up. I'm tired of these niggas jumping into female beef. I got you, baby. Yo, I Riley, keep them bitches in check. I'ma keep these hating ass niggas in line. 100, facts. All right, honey, so you guys just heard what, you know, Seven, whatever the hell his name is, what he had to say about the situation. So then when word got back to Offset, Offset took the Snapchat and he wasn't here for none of that fuckery, okay? This is what Offset had to say. So Offset says, Every nigga around, you gon' feel this smoke, innocent and all, LOL. See, I'm really on that shit you talking. Don't play around when I see niggas, I'm not gon' play. Then he goes on to say, niggas should stay in their lane, I don't play fair. Honey, Offset said he wasn't here for it. And I don't see how people can get mad at Offset or even get mad at Offset saying something. That is his wife and the mother of his child. He has more room to say something about Cardi B than this guy has to say about Nicki Minaj. I've never heard Nicki Minaj really shout him out or even really talk about her old group. I mean, she's talked about them, but not really any time recently. I think the last time I really saw her mention her group was when she was doing that interview with Funkmaster Flex and she ended up calling old boy on the phone. But other than that, she doesn't just shout them out like that. You know, Offset has every right to take up for his wife or to agree with Remy Ma when it comes to his wife. That's his wife. That's the mother of his child like what do people expect okay so now if that's not crazy we hadn't heard none from hood booger hennessy carolina in a while but she decided to pop up on social media two days ago and when i tell you she was not here for the fuckery okay this is what hennessy had to say about the situation check this out 
So Hennessy's replying back to one of Nicki Minaj's barbs, and she says, at Queen Kong Minaj, my sister never bailed a rapist out. When you bail a rapist out, it's called supporting a rapist. So that's what Hennessy posted. I also posted on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'm at lovelyt2002. We're trying to get to 100,000 followers. We'll be there soon. My Instagram is popping. I'm staying on top of it. We're posting stuff. We're replying back to your DMs. I have folks helping me out now. So, you know, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well for all that quick tea when I'm not able to put out a video, okay? So now that's not crazy enough. Now, you know, a lot of this mess started with the whole drama with the strippers, okay, with Batty G and her sister. So now, one of the girls that was there with Cardi B, she's basically just incriminating herself, spilling all the damn tea, and basically taking credit for, you know, trying to fight these girls. Her name is Remy Roja, and she went in on Instagram the other day. Y'all go ahead and check this out really quick. She talking to Offset, she talking to her fucking man. So now when I go over there, I'm trying to drink. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Y'all know I want a motherfucking drink. We ain't getting no motherfucking drink because it was just a lot going on. So now as we leaving and I go to turn around, as I'm turning around to leave, the bitch, Batty G, whatever the fuck her name is, is over there blowing Cardi Kisses. The bitch went just like this. Whatever y'all are. So when she went like that, I flew across that fucking bar. That's what the fuck happened. So Cardi can't tame me. Cardi can't do nothing. Don't fucking play with my friend. That's just how we giving it up. Fuck y'all talking about. I don't even be trying to answer shit because shit get real and we can't even entertain this shit. And you know, being that she, who she is, so bitches be trying to get a dime or something. Nobody give a fuck. And she ain't got to send nobody. I'm her fucking friend. So I'm violating bitches. But I'm going to get this work. I don't give a fuck about no police. Bitch, I'm from Brownsville. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get locked up. I'm going to be out the next day. And it's really going to be fucking beef. Fuck y'all talking about. This whole... I can't get with this industry shit. I can't. Because it's make-believe fucking world, bitch. Y'all niggas and y'all Nicki Minaj fans suck a fucking dick. Like, what the fuck y'all talking about? That bitch don't even know who y'all are. Get the fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I just know motherfuckers better leave us the fuck alone. And I'm off of this. Leave us the fuck alone. But as far as that man Rob, bitch, you want to get this work. Whether you want it or however you're going to see it or you want to pull up is whatever. I don't give a fuck about that. Leave my fucking friend alone. She ain't bothering y'all, bitch. She's trying to be a mother. Leave my fucking friend alone. And when niggas say shit is real and they pop up and they see you, but don't try to act like a fucking victim. Niggas don't even give a fuck about it. That's y'all thing. Nobody gives a fuck about Nicki Minaj. Nobody's starting one. Nobody. And that's. Honey. This situation's a hot damn mess, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? So after that video went viral on Instagram with the girl basically bragging about, you know, trying to beat up Batty G, Batty G has something to say in response. So go ahead and check this out. So Batty G says, dating and actually sleeping with someone is two different things. Nowadays, people are so quick to make the females look bad. Stop assuming this generation is so twisted. So basically, Batty G's admitting that she was dating Offset. You know, she's saying that they weren't smashing, but they were dating. But I'm confused. How do you date somebody who is clearly in a relationship and who's also married? So that's still kind of shady. You're talking about this generation is shady for twisting dating and having sex up. But you're shady for dating and entertaining somebody who you know is in a relationship, honey. Stop with the innocent act. Stop with the bullshit, boo, okay? Just sit there and look pretty and twerk your pretty cheeks, okay? That's all we want to see from you. We don't want to see posts defending fuck shit, okay? Thank you. So now, if that's not crazy enough, Ra Ali and Brooke Bailey, they got their own version of the bootleg Queens Court going on on YouTube, I guess. I don't know, on Instagram, on some damn platform. So anyhow, they decide to talk about the whole Nicki Minaj situation. When I tell you Ra Ali is a ride or die friend, just like Cardi B's friend, Remy Roja, you know what I'm saying, is a ride or die friend. They are riding for their homegirls. So this is what Ra Ali and Brooke Bailey had to say about the situation. And they made some decent points, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say that they were all the way in the wrong. They definitely hit on some stuff. They definitely made some decent points. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So, um, yeah. And anybody that does allow somebody to run up on their friend, their mom, their dad, and their self, please don't be around people who are loyal to you because it's not a good situation. Like, how could you 
allow someone to come up to you and disrespect you or disrespect someone that you're with if you have the ability to help protect yourself or them. And what's even funnier to me about the viewers, if you will, had no one defended Nikki, you guys would have dragged when right. I say drag the person or the people that were standing around her that would have allowed that to happen, right. you guys would have been like, what kind of team do you got? What kind of friends do you guys right. have? So it's like, no matter what you do, you can't win. Right. You're going to have something to say about every single thing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually, Brooke and I even said today that after today, um, we have no intentions. You never know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let nothing happen back to you. Right. No, no, no. Because I don't want to be a part of this. No. When you run up on somebody, you get everything that they your hand calls for. When you run up on someone, and that's right. just what it is. I don't care if you guys don't like it. If you don't agree, it is what it is. And if it was your mother, your father, yourself. your child, your friend, or even yourself, yes. you would absolutely have the same observation and the same opinion about right. it. So, hold on a second. Exactly. I agree. So, uh, I was going to come up when you're doing an interview right. or an appearance, but we have no intentions on um, continuing to talk about the situation. But what does trouble me is that when people are um, giving recaps or saying what actually happened that wasn't actually there. Right. Like, how are you... Uh, hosting a show, anybody, mm -hmm. or speaking in a public forum and saying this is what happened and this was this is How what didn't happen. How about say at least allegedly, right? You know, or right. I or read is, somewhere, or absolutely. somebody told me because if you weren't there, you can't say that this is what happened for a fact. Mm -hmm. Period. Absolutely, I'm with that. So yes. we're we're tired of it, but I just, I, in my opinion, I do believe that this is the beginning of uh, something that's going to be ongoing for a long time right. and uh, it is what it is you know we don't uh, we don't encourage it we're not being ratchet ghetto girls we, we're women we're bosses we're businesswomen we're wives yes. uh, Brooke is a mother it is what it is you know we don't uh, we don't encourage it. We're not being ratchet ghetto girls. We, we're women. We're bosses. We're businesswomen. We're wives. Yes. Uh, Brooke is a mother. And that's not what our intentions are. But We are just grown. And, you know, we hate that things sometimes have to resort to uh, physical violence. But in some cases, in some instances, that's what it comes to, especially if someone is being irrational and not able to handle their self as an adult to have a conversation. So then it goes the opposite way. Exactly. Um, my opinion is that there's a lot of biasness, if that's even a word, forgive me, if it's not, <laughs> when it comes to certain it. individuals. I feel, I feel... When, you know, when there's a fan favorite, for lack of better terms, um, there are a lot of excuses made for certain behavior. Mm -hmm. So if everyone loves this particular individual, it's kind of like, well, then you shouldn't have done X, Y, and Z. But when you're not a fan of that person mm -hmm. or you feel like they've done other things that you don't like, then it's just like, no, I don't think so. God forbid Nicki Minaj had physically attacked anybody she would be dragged there would be no excuses made they could have talked about you you guys have to um take him because you know the way that to go. you guys have talked about her family you guys have disrespected her in every possible way and there's never ever ever any excuses made for anything because She's the bad guy, right. you know, so instead of looking at it as right is right and wrong is wrong, period. It doesn't matter who the person is in any situation. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. And no one is the judge or the jury, mm -hmm. you know, to determine on who's right and who's wrong. Mm -hmm. But like, you guys, right. And you know? I, I think that I think that in this case, um, it was super duper duper whack and there's only one person that you can blame for it you can't right. you can't blame anybody else you know right. like you can't this is no there's one person the person who initiated it and that's it no right. one else because no one is ever going to not defend themselves right you cannot ever think that someone is wrong for defending themselves no 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 i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let nothing happen back to you right no 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 because i don't want to be a part of this no when you run up on somebody you get everything that they your hand calls for when you run up on someone and that's yeah. just what it is
because I think they're just jealous. All right, so you guys just saw what Ra Ali and uh, Brooke Bailey had to say about the situation. They are definitely riding with the queen. They don't give a damn what Barty gang or anybody has to say about this. And I do agree, like I said, with some of their points, like when they were saying that if, if Nicki Minaj behaved how Cardi B did in public, no one would be excusing it. The Breakfast Club would be dragging her. And that's facts. Because as soon as she does something ratchet and ghetto, folks come for her. But then when it's Cardi B, there's all these excuses. And that's what I felt that Remy Ma was making for her. She was making a lot of excuses. Like I told you, I don't play the excuse well on my channel. Cardi B's a grown woman. She's 25 and she's a mother. You need to act accordingly. Because again, if that was a regular smuggler girl like myself acting like that and throwing shoes and acting a fool, y'all would drag my black ass. Nobody would be making not one damn excuse for me, okay? So let's keep that all the way 100. So I definitely agree with what they were saying there. So now that's not nuts enough, okay? While they were doing their live stream on Instagram, one of Remy Ma's former stylists called in, and when I tell you she drugged Remy Ma for the filth, honey, she was not here for Remy Ma's comments on that new Revolt TV show. She was not feeling what Remy Ma had to say about Nicki Minaj. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Talking about beef? You need to be worried about the beef that gave you that baby and that nasty burnt brownie between your legs, bitch. When I tell you I am disgusted by the fact that she got her funky ass up there and gave a comment on something with somebody that she know don't fuck with her. She just had to get involved. She just had to get involved. Let me tell you something about that bitch. I sat there and listened to that bitch, Remy, for no reason, hate on every fucking body when I was doing her makeup. Hating on everybody that was out at the time that she got released. She was hating on Eve. Eve ain't had an album since Hank was a fucking puppy. Hank's a dog. Eve ain't have no fucking album out. Eve was... Okay, let me stop. I'm sorry, but that bitch is messy as hell, okay? So anyways, that is all the mess that's going down. This was my part two. Like I told y'all, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You guys can like my Facebook fan page, Twitter, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get the, the other social media pages popping, just like the YouTube is popping. I hope you guys enjoyed this tea. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I definitely got some more tea that I'm spilling tonight. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.